Rain certainly stopped play earlier this summer, but now the sun is out and the temperatures are rising. How much and for how long? Well, I'll give you all the details just after the break. Yes, that's absolutely right. Welcome here to Wendon's Ambo Cricket Club in Essex, a county that is very famed for its love of cricket. Now, is there a more hot and sunny conditions? If we have a look at the temperature chart for the next few days, risk of thunderstorms. Now, the Met Office have issued an early weather warning. So definitely lots of people very happy about the hot and sunny weather that we're seeing at the moment. But as I say, stay up to date with that weather warning on Thursday, potential for some very heavy rain. Back to you in the studio. Okay. Becky, thank you. For so it was just under 30 degrees today, 29.6 recorded across parts of Surrey. Over the next few days, let's have a look at what we've got. No surprises, it is going to be warm or hot sunshine, turning a rather thundery midweek, potentially very thundery indeed, although of course thunderstorms are very hit and miss, and then turning fresher towards the end of the week. Let's get details as we look ahead to this evening and overnight. You can see that it is a largely dry and fairly clear sort of picture. Those temperatures, though, well, they are on the rise. And as I say, with the what we call the dew point, that's the measure of humidity in the air, that's going to be rising over the next few days. So it will feel increasingly warm and sticky. If temperatures stay up more than 20 degrees overnight, that's classed as a tropical night. Potential for that later on this week. Then we look ahead to tomorrow and as you can see across much of the south of the UK there's barely a cloud in the sky, a little bit more in the way of the cloud but it's really just sunny spells if we look a little bit further north and northwest. Again it's a very warm day, temperatures probably peaking around the London area around 32 degrees but if you draw a line from sort of Southampton to London east of that that's where we're going to be having the peak of the temperatures as we move through Tuesday. On to Wednesday it really is a matter of the same because we're going to be seeing more in the way of the hot sunshine it's largely dry but you can see that occluded front just nudging into the far southeastern areas and that just adds a little bit more energy a little bit more moisture into the atmosphere so we could see some showers being sparked off the latter end of Wednesday overnight Wednesday and then as I mentioned on Thursday afternoon so definitely one to watch